Hi everyone, welcome to Design with Farhad channel. Today we are going to design this beautiful stand banner. You will learn a ton of new skills today. Let's get started. Do not forget to subscribe and ring the bell. You will have all the resources in the description section. Please share this video with your friends and let them learn new skills too. Thank you. Okay, let's start. We are going to start a new file in Adobe Photoshop. We set the dimensions of the file, its orientation as portrait, then we set the resolution and after that we are going to set the proper color mode. At the end we are going to give it a proper name and then hit create. First, save your file to a safe and secure location on your computer. It is a good practice to get used to save your file occasionally during work. It will save you from any probable crash of unexpected exit of your computer or your program. Always remember to hit Ctrl S often during your work. After saving your file, the most important thing is to set two primary colors that you will be using in the design. These two colors will guide the whole feel and look of the banner. You can use different tints of it in your design, but you should be cautious of not using too many. Here we are using two colors, orange and red light. First we are going to place this color sample on the page in a separate layer to reference later in work faster. It is a very good practice. Okay, now that the canvas is ready, we are going to start our design by separating the file in two parts, upper and lower. We will use the pen tool to draw a curvy shape at the bottom of the page. When finished, we will set the color by sampling to the original color of the reference. Here we use the orange color. Uh, then we will use the gradient adjustment layer to design the second part of the banner background. We will place that layer to its proper position. Then we will go to the settings of the adjustment layer by clicking on its icon and play with its settings to achieve the desired color combination. First, we will reference to the light red color reference we have on the page and then work with its tints to give the background color a proper variation. Do not use more than three tints of the color. Play with lighter and darker colors to give depth and dimension to the background. Two or maybe three is enough. Okay, now that the background is set, we are going to place the design elements. We will open the assets from our computer storage, drag them to our design canvas, work with their position, size and priority. To bring the elements to the front, we will place them on top of all the layers by dragging them upper in the layer stack.
To give more depth fill to our background, we will place two dark shades of the red color on the red background. To keep things non-destructive, we will place each of the shade in a different separate layer. It will help later if we decide to change our mind. We take the red sample and work on the choosing different shades of light. We will take the brush, adjust its size and hardness by right clicking or just using its shortcut right and left brackets. Adjust its opacity in the properties area. Then we just need to tap and decide on the feel of it. Okay, now uh, we are going to import leaves. It has a white background. So I'll have to use a selection method and mask the background out. And then drag the leaf to the design canvas and adjust its position, size, opacity accordingly. Copy multiple times and place each in a proper position over the background. It adds fresh feel and atmosphere to our design. Then we will add a tomato plus a slice of it to get even more freshness and sauce. It will really boost up the design attraction. It's time to add the main title of this banner. We paste the copy to a text layer, select all the text and adjust its size and put it in the right position. Give it a color. For this matter, we need the text properties panel, so we open it from the window menu. We are going to play with this with its character settings such as font family, font size, font variation, letter spacing, line spacing or tracking and as well as color. When done, we will again adjust the title position by relocating and rotating it so that we get the final look of it. You should do it with the accuracy and take your time. So that's it. The basic adjustments of the title is done. Now we are going to add more shine, sharpness and give it more boldness by adding some more style. To get all of this, we are going to right click on the layer, on the title layer and open layer style by clicking on the blending options. Now we are going to add shadow to our design. In the layer shadow tab, we are going to play with its settings such as color, opacity, shadow, thickness and more. To add shine and color combination as reflection, use the gradient overlay and play with its settings. It is best practice to start with the gradient color preset and adjust the settings based on your need. It will help you work faster and get a professional look sooner. It will also save a very noticeable amount of headache and as well as 
time. Okay, some final adjustments to the title in the elements around it. We are going to reposition the title, make it a little bigger and put it in a better suited position. Now we are going to readjust the other elements in relation to the title, so it gives a better impression. The second part of the title is the text. We are now going to work on this element by copying the text, add it in a separate layer. We will have the room to work on it. Make a little bigger, give it the required font family, add the font size, give a proper variation of the font, put a fit color and relocate it to its final position. We are going to work on its background by adding a tagger-like shape in its background. Give the background a tint of the orange color and, re and rotate it to fit the design and work on this look until it fits the overall design. Uh, to better fit this title in our design, we are going to work on its look a little more. First, we are going to work another background, then work on its background color, its shape, and then the gradient color that it keeps looking fresh. Uh, after so many trials and errors, we will decide the final look of our tag. You can always have choices to make, uh, so take your time and work on the design as much as you can so it, be, it can fit better with your final design. In this step, it's time to add the contact information to our banner. To get this done, we are going to copy the text from Notepad and add it in a separate layer. Then, we will work on the overall look of it. It is a very crucial information. Therefore, we have to work on its readability in contrast with extra care. Therefore, the most important thing to remember here is font size, font color, contrast, in size variation. Do not forget to work on all of them with extra care so that the customers can read it with ease and can contact you uh, easily.
So here you are. Our final design is ready. To go the extra limit, we are going to work on its final look by taking a little more time. Give the final touches on all the elements of our design. In this extra time, we should look to our design from a distance, then we can find the needed adjustments clearly. Here, we tweak a little of everything from rotation to relocation and from color adjustments to shadows into light wing. Take your time, work for a little more so you get the perfect design ready. It's done. We are going to save the design and export it to send it to our client. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and let us know what you learned from this design. Suggest what you want next. Have a great time. Goodbye.